Okay, my tripod is like on its last limb, so there might be a lot of angle changes in this video. Anyway, hi, welcome back to Thoughts from a Bookworm. Today, I wanted to do a book recommendation video. I wanted to take a book that some of y'all may have enjoyed reading, and then I want to give y'all a recommendation based off of the books that y'all liked. Basically, it's a if you like this book, you probably will also like this one. I'll find some books to add to y'all's to be read list. The first book I'm going to start off with is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Again, one of the most popular books um, of this past two years. It's probably like the most popular book on Book Talk and Bookstagram. I have a feeling a lot of y'all watching this video may have already read it. If you like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I would highly suggest The Book of Longings. I don't know how these books could be so different, but also just so similar at the same time. The Book of Longing, based off the concept of if Jesus had a wife, basically taking this story a lot of people know and rewriting it and kind of giving justice to this woman and showing her side of the story. And that's very similar to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So Evelyn puts on this show, the media for decades and decades and decades, and then she finally tells her life story in a book that shows that the public had it all wrong. So these books are very powerful in their own ways. Both, I feel like, give a lot of power to women, especially. Which, you know, I love. So I feel like if you like this book, you will also love this one. Both books rewrite a story that the public thinks that they have known for a long time. And completely gives it a new meaning and new perspective, which, you know, I hope that you'll like. The next two books. I'm gonna give y'all are if you liked The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, I think you will like Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. It would be wrong for me to recommend these books without saying that both of them deal with a lot of mental issues and I do recognize that the main character in The Bell Jar, Esther, is extremely problematic as is a lot of characters in these books. But if you like The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, you will absolutely love Girl Interrupted. The Bell Jar is one of my favorite books and I absolutely loved Girl Interrupted. I read this book in like two days, I think. It was a very quick read. Girl Interrupted is a true story of um, Susanna, the author, when she gets put in a mental institution and she writes about her experience there and she writes about kind of her perspective on why she was put there and her diagnosis and everything. And the main character, Esther in The Bell Jar, also ends up in a mental institution. Both women in these books talk about how they feel about why they were, you know, institutionalized. Both books talk about how women were treated differently in the mental health world than men, and they were institutionalized for very different reasons than a lot of men. So I also really love that perspective. So if you like The Bell Jar, I highly suggest Girl Interrupted. It will be a very quick read, and it will be very similar. Okay. The next book I'm going to suggest is If You Liked The Girls by Emma Klein. I would highly suggest Coltish by Amanda Montel. Now I don't have my copy of The Girls. I gave it to my aunt to read, so I don't have that with me. But The Girls is based off of the Manson family. It tells the story of a young girl who gets sucked into this cult-like group and why she joins this cult and why she likes it so much. It really shows the reader like how a person feels getting sucked into a cult-like setting and how like why people stay in cults and why this character was specifically drawn to this cult. It's very much based off of the Manson family but if you like The Girls by Emma Klein please read Cultish by Amanda Montel. It is a non-fiction book about the language of cults. What basically classifies groups as a cult. It talks about a lot of groups that aren't cults per se, but cultish and how they get people to follow them, how they get people to stay and like what techniques they use. The book talks about, you know, Jonestown and Heaven's Gate, but also again, a lot of those smaller fitness and influencer empires that aren't cults, but cultish in the way that they treat people. I think if you are interested at all in cults or at all about those kind of um, disturbing stories of how people that you would perceive as normal end up, you know, in horrible situations and being controlled by other people, uh, I think if you like any kind of stories like that, you will love cultish. The next book I'm going to suggest is if you liked We Were Liars, you will love Big Little Lies. First of all, I just want to say this book is hated a lot on Book Talk 
and I get it it isn't like necessarily the best book written but it's just like a good book if you want like a beach read or if you want to get out of a book slump so I do not agree at all with the hate it gets on book talk I think that it's a really good book and it's really fast paced and it's really good but that's besides the point so if you like to be reliers you will like Big Little Lies. We Were Liars is a story from account of a teenager of how her family's dysfunctional and like just like a bunch of crazy stuff happens one summer. Big Little Lies kind of takes that but turns it into more of like an adult story. It's about three suburban moms. All three of them are going through kind of like a crisis within their families or with their kids or with their significant others. As you read the story, more truths become unraveled to the reader and it's just it you read it so fast because you realize all the lies kept from certain characters very similar with like the whole dysfunctional family element and the whole of course lie element They're both very twisty books so i think if you like to be real liars you will also love big little lies and the last book i want to recommend is if you liked Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, you will like A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. The reason why I'm suggesting A Tree Grows in Brooklyn if you liked Little Women is because first of all both books are pieces of historical fiction and Little Women tells the story of four girls growing up in not well-off families and four girls trying to figure out the world around them. They're surrounded by a major historical event those elements are also there in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. It's about a young girl who grows up um, poor in Brooklyn and she's trying to figure out like what kind of person she is, her relationship with her family. Also, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is surrounded by many other historical events um, like World War One and, you know, women's suffrage. So I also think that those are elements that are also found in Little Women that the reader may also enjoy. In both books, the father is absent for different reasons. Even though it's for different reasons, both fathers aren't absent. And it shows how these girls deal with that. So if you like Little Women, you know, one of my favorite books, like one of the best historical fiction books out there, you will love A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. So that was it for my video today. I hope y'all found a new book to put on y'all's to be read list. Let me know if y'all have read or are planning to read any of these books. I also have an Instagram for this YouTube account. It's at Thoughts from a Bookworm. And I post a lot of book reviews and book content on there as well. I hope y'all all have a great week. I will see y'all in my next video.